Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to meditate in this crazy world and if that interests you, stick around. Hi, welcome. I'm Joel Hayden and this is the I Care and Wellness channel. And obviously today we're going to be talking about wellness and how you can learn how to meditate in this crazy world. Let's get at it. How to find a way to start meditating, to create some peace in your life and find your way to finding what you're looking for in life. And I meditate every day. I've done it every day for probably 10 years. Some days are very quick, fleeting, three minutes. And other days I can actually get in 30, 40 minutes and be able to meditate really well. But I find that if I can create peace in myself, I can literally create peace around me and in my world, if that makes sense. In the business world, they talk about um, what you focus on, you can attract to you. And I think it's very much like that. And it's not just peace, it's what you want, what you want in life. And you should get clear about what you want in life because it's really important. But a simple five minutes a day, if you could find it, it can be sitting in your car in the garage before you leave for work. Just remember when you're done to open the garage door before you back out. Um, it can be stopping for a coffee and parking over in the corner of the parking lot, putting your seat back a little bit. You don't want to get so comfortable that you could fall asleep, but you definitely want to be comfortable. Close your eyes and literally just let the thoughts go by and just get quiet. If you want some music around you, you can put on some background music, kind of like what I have going on here. I really like uh, rain, waves, things like that. It's great for sleeping too. That's a whole different story. It can be finding a way to get into a bathroom stall at, at your office and throwing some headphones in and just listening to something and quieting down. The stress of this world will kill us all. It is horrible. And we all live it. And we all have things, we all have expectations, we all have things that we want to go right. And when they don't, it's stress. And I'll also tell you that you should only really stress about things that you can change. If you can't change them, why are you stressing over them? For example, the life we're living right now with this crazy pandemic, and then you turn the news on, what do you see? Politics gone mad. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can vote. You can vote or you could run for office. But honestly, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to run for office. I'll vote. Um, but I have to let it go. And by letting it go, I don't even watch TV anymore. I'm not interested. I'm interested in what's going on in the world. But I'm not interested in focusing on the negativity all the time. It's not healthy. And we internalize it. And when we internalize it, it turns to disease. And that's awful. And guess what disease is? Dis ease. So it makes sense that the stress is disease and it creates disease. So I know that's a little goofy, but it really is true. So try to find that five minutes a day. And you know, if you could ever get to the point where you could uh, do a little bit longer, do it. I'm going to put some affiliate links down below to programs that you may find really helpful. I have I like, um, I used to love Wayne Dyer to listen to Wayne Dyer. He had some great ideas for meditation. I also really like a guy named Joe Dispenza, D-I-S-P-E-N-Z-A. And he has some great stuff about getting what you want in life. And I think that that's what we all should be focusing on. So I hope this was helpful. I hope to bring more to you like this, in, including... Um, even the system that I use that we didn't even scratch on the surface of yet. And I really think that it would help everyone. There's not a soul out there that couldn't use this. So I hope it helped. I hope 
you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care.